Good morning Year One and welcome to the third of our English lessons for the week. Today we're going to be looking again at the suffix ed and then you can have your first attempt at retelling the story of Jackman and the Beanstalk. So when you're ready, get your whiteboards and whiteboard pen ready and we'll get started. Okay, so this week we've been looking at the suffix ed. Today I want you to think about how, what are verbs and how the suffix ed affects them. So quickly, tell your grown up and when you're ready, start the video again. So, starting with verbs. Verbs is a doing or feeling word. It also describes something that's happening. A verb that describes something that takes place in the past is described as the past tense. And ed is added to a verb when something has already taken place, something that's happened in the past. So that's how ed words are used when it comes to verb tenses. Okay, so today Jack's got a new challenge. He wants you to have a go at using the suffix ed to change some verbs. So, for example, he's asking you, can you add ed to the words below and put them in a sentence? For example, if your word was to be walk, I walked for an hour. And here are the words he wants you to have a go at. Watch, listen, kick, jump, play, and wait. And all of these are in the present tense. And he wants you to turn them into sentences using the past tense. So grown-ups, pause the video. And when you've done that, start again and we'll get going. Wow, I bet you managed to make some amazing sentences out of those verbs. So what we're going to be doing today is you're going to have a go at retelling verbally the story of Jack and the Beanstalk. Now to do that, grown-ups, it's probably a good idea if you listen to the video that I've made again about with the story of Jack and the Beanstalk, just to refresh your child's memory of the whole story. But we're now going to have a look at the prompts that we can use for you to tell the story. So we've got these prompts once upon a time, one day, but before when, the following day, at last, eventually, so, for a long time, so for the second time, unfortunately, quickly, but desperately, in the end. So, these are called openers, and you can use them to make a story more interesting and also to sequence the story. So I'm going to have a go at using just the first few to give you an idea, and then I want you to have a go at using them yourselves and maybe recording yourselves even and sending a video in retelling the story of Jack and the Beanstalk. So once upon a time there was a boy called Jack who lived with his mother and a cow called Daisy. One day Daisy wasn't producing any more milk and the family went hungry. His mum told Jack to go to market before he reached market, he met a man who had, who swapped, who offered him magic beans. Jack took the magic beans for Daisy and went back home. When he got home, his mum was very angry and threw the beans out of the window. Jack was sent to bed with no tea. So do you see what we're doing? We're using these prompts to tell the story. So you may want to re-listen to the video as many times as you want, but have a go at retelling the whole story using these prompts. OK, and that's the end of today's English lesson. I bet you're going to do an amazing job year one. See you tomorrow.